Okay, part of the, uh, the Kelly route is Stringy Bark Creek, where the big shootout was between the Kelly gang and the police officers. There are three policemen dead. One managed to escape. So this site is in the middle of nowhere, to be honest. The drive here is um, through a very small track through the forest. There's the map of the area. So I'm going to what's called the Kelly tree now. And then to the Kelly police shootout. This is what is historically called the Kelly tree, it's supposed to mark the actual site of the Kelly and the shootout. In fact, the tree is on the wrong side of the creek and several hundred metres from the actual location of the historic incident. In 1985, this tree was officially identified as a Kelly tree. The metal plaque represented Kelly's armour, replacing the carved names, the tree trunk had grown around the plaque but the plaque remains visible today. So this is what's known as the Kelly tree. And then there is at the bottom here, the plaque representing, can't see it there, well, Kelly's armor. Just, let's see if we can go on the other track and see if we can find the, um, the site of the the shootout. So, on the way now, along the track, Stringy Bark Creek, to hopefully the actual site of where the shooting, the shootout took place between the police and Nick Kelly and his gang, where the three police officers were killed, unfortunately and one managed to make his estate using, I think, the sergeant's horse, who was one of the ones who was killed. It is a beautiful spot here. And here here's, here's looks to be a plaque. Kelly and police shootout. It's just giving the readout. Let's go and have a look inside. So this is the area, I'm not sure how much it's changed since the actual shootout. This is in the middle of nowhere so it's quite a drive to get here.
of the birds. There wasn't many people here today, there's a couple of other visitors. So, Stringy Bark Creek shootout site between the Kelly Gang and the police. 